Hey guys, GregGamer34 here. Today, I have a RAM design, and I'm going to demonstrate how it works, and then I'm going to teach you guys how to build it. This is only single read RAM, and it is two ticks, which is pretty boss. The repeater lock is one tick, and the read is one tick. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how it works. And we'll start with our data inputs. Here are our data inputs. It's inverted data. So let's take the number three, saves to one. Then we'll take the number seven, save to two. Then let's do nine, save to three. And then why not? Let's do 10 and save to four. So it was like three, five, seven, f four. I, I don't know, something like that. All right, so let's go ahead and read. So we got a three from the first uh, register, a seven from the second one. Oops. A nine from the third one. Oh, we should have like a ten or something like that. And then a ten from that one. Um, so now to show you how to build it alright so we're gonna start with um, like this we're gonna kinda want our platform of this and that now this may not make sense right now but it will so we're gonna stack that up like that and pretty much do the other platform up here again and this is gonna be our system So we, so now what happens, just for demonstration purposes, it's going to light up here, and that's the only spot it's going to light up. So now we're going to come down, like this, and place it like that with the torch on it. I'm going to come down another two. Make sure to block off your signal, so we'll do that also up here. Whoops, what am I doing? I'm failing hardcore. Now, we're going to need a half slab. Half slab is going to come across like that. And this is for stacking purposes, and you'll see why. Because we need to be able to power up through and underneath this uh, half slab. And how we're going to do that is kind of like this. So once again, for stacking purposes, I'm just going to kind of do this. And here's one unit done, pretty much. Or two unit, two bits done, but we need eight bits for a total of one byte. And then we're going to have seven bytes. So right now I'm just selecting my perimeters, which makes a box. I'm going to do copy. And do paste minus A. And I'm going to press slash up enter. Slash up enter. Slash up enter. I'm going to do that until I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, one more. Excuse me. So there's our eight bits. So now you may be asking yourself, well, why are all these on? Well, right now this is acting as if there's a zero, uh, one stored in the memory. And since the read is inverted, it's always going to be reading. So how we have to do this is now we have to invert the read. So we'll come over here and do it like this. That powers up. Oh, we need to go up one higher just to turn off that torch. Like that. So that powers off all these torches. And now we're going to go ahead and select our perimeter again, or our, our boxes. Position one, position two, and we're going to stack it seven. Actually, let's stack once and see what happens. Oh, somebody decided to join me, and this isn't finished yet. Um, so what I forgot to do was, of course, the read or the data lines. Um, kind of like this, they have to be done. So 
So somebody is following me around right now. Who is that? Pineapolis. I was helping him out earlier. I'm just gonna ignore him and maybe he'll go away, maybe he'll not, maybe he'll he'll just be in this video for the whole time. I don't know. Um I feel like this happened to Benny's cute before with somebody. I think I oh 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 he's placing breaking blocks. Mm. Well, I'll just ignore him for now. Okay, so that's done. Also forgot to take into account that we have to block it off like this. So go ahead and do that, and now let's try stacking one. And there is no interference between anything at all. So that works beautifully. Now let's stack it. Seven. Oh, we have eight. Oh. We only need to stack six. My bad. There we go, because I only need seven registers. So now, to finish it up real quick, um, just kind of come up to the side. And it works best when somebody named Pineapolis isn't following you around right now. And I, yes, I'm a little sick. If you guys can hear it in my voice, I have no idea. Is he even typing? I, I'm not even checking chat. Oh, he's placing a sign. He said hi. Hi. So here's our data. Our data inputs. And we will need to hook up our write. Well, oh, since this really that's really not necessary right there, because of how we stacked it. He has a question. One sec. See, this is what happens when you're semi-popular. Not claiming to be the most popular, but ooh. Um, we have to kind of build in this final line up here. I understand that I'm going a little fast with this, but. It's because most of it is build it once, stack it a bunch of times, fix some bugs, and it's done. Not many bugs in this because I've already bug tested it. And actually, the first the reason I'm doing this is because I built this RAM for Pineapolis. But I decided, hey, I'll make a video on it, teach some people how memory works. And we'll get a button. Good old fashioned button. I don't even know why I have a lever. I'm so against levers. Uh, or not levers, uh, pistons. Why did I say levers? I don't know. I like levers. I don't like uh, pistons. Okay. And here's our read. So now we can go ahead and save some data to it. Let's try this. Seven to two. Oh, and it doesn't matter what order you occupy them in either. I want to save six to here. I'm just lowing, working with some small bit size numbers. So, let's see here, six, and then we should get seven. And it works. So here's our completed memory unit. And two ticks for the data loop, pretty much. Because out of your inverters, or out of your um, decoders for this, should be an inverted output. So it saves from having to have this tick here. But see, the way things are done is all for signal strength. So the signal strength reaches just to here. It doesn't go up to here. So, oops. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you aren't already subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Um, and my OCD is just killing me. Okay. There. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.